Mississippi continues making it tough on anyone involved in human trafficking. Today, Secretary of State Michael Watson announced a new statewide initiative asking businesses to help combat trafficking. Watson is asking businesses to follow a simple rule. If you see something, say something. Earlier this year, Watson was instrumental in toughening state laws against trafficking offenders by pushing state lawmakers to pass tougher penalties and requiring additional training for law enforcement. For police and those looking to help victims of sex trafficking, the new initiative seems like a step in the right direction. WTVA's Ethan Foster is live in Tupelo with more. Well, that initiative you just heard about is called MBAT, and that stands for Mississippi Businesses Against Trafficking. I think that the more that we know, uh, the more awareness that we have and the more help that we have, that eyes are opened and uh, we can eradicate. The creation of MBAT is welcome news to people like Rhonda Ryan, the founder of One Breath Street Ministry, a crisis center for sexually exploited women in the state of Mississippi. MBAT as a program will consist of employee training for involved businesses in the form of educational videos and materials. The goal is to show people how to recognize signs of potential human trafficking and what to do and what not to do if they see something suspicious. Tupelo Police Chief John Quaka says the help of local businesses will only make his department stronger. Yeah, businesses helping the police to identify sex trafficking is what we call a force multiplier. Instead of one officer out there with two eyes, now we've got a hundred eyes out there looking for signs of sex trafficking and sexual abuse. While it is the end goal, getting victims out of human trafficking and into a safe environment is only half the battle, something that Rhonda Ryan has learned through her ministry. There was once a time when I was just was so passionate about getting the women off the street. Um, and I, you know, a part of any ministry that, that is trafficking, eradication is part of that. And I realized quickly that awareness and the more people that know about it, that's where the eradication comes from. So this is beautiful. I'm really excited about it. Now you can see on this flyer for one breath, it says human trafficking, frontline rescue. That's what they are all about. And Miss Ryan said that she's seen about 20 women rescued from sex trafficking since One Breath started two years ago, and that some women that they reach out to just aren't ready to leave at that point. And of course, Secretary of State Michael Watson said he wants to see every business in Mississippi partner with MBAT. A list of businesses that have already partnered includes Mississippi Hotels, gas stations, massage parlors, and even the minor league team, the Mississippi Braves. Reporting live here in Tupelo, I'm Ethan Foster for WTVA 9 News.